Hey, welcome back to Monster Gaming. I um, actually just posted a video minutes ago, and it got me thinking about something. I don't know why I didn't talk about it on here. Um, recently, I've been talking to a couple people about this game and like why I like it. It's um, I think it's a it's a very calm game. You know, it's a game that you can like build your empire. Um, you're not really out there trying to build it and then fight and destroy other um, cities, you know, it's not PVP. Um, there is some PVE elements, um, in the world map. As you expand, you do need to conquer different areas. Um, I'll show you on here. Um, I'm playing on a, on a tablet. Um, this is definitely a browser game, so you can play it on your, uh, computer. Oh, cool. We have a tournament. So, um, whenever you go to an, a different territory, this is a tournament, but it looks the same on here you can either negotiate or you can fight them um so this one seems to be a fairly easy one now when you're playing on a tablet you don't actually see the fighting happen at all um you basically just put your squad you look at what they're doing you see you know who's good against those units and then you fight and it renders it automatically so for some people that's not enough you know fighting you know, um, for me, I can go either way um, because I know that that's not the point of the game. It's not a Clash of Clans or something like that where that's the point of the game is to go loot and do things like that. Now, when you do fight these areas here um, or negotiate, either one, when you achieve them, you always get victory things. Um, so you get tournament points because we're in a tournament. Uh, you get knowledge points. Um, and these are just like can be different things. They're not always going to be the same. Now, uh, what was I going to say? So when you were playing on a browser, you would actually have a gridded area that where people can kind of move around a little bit like Heroes of Mighty Magic back in the day, um, which is really cool. So it's tactical. You move your troops around and then you fight um, very head to head. And that's very interesting. Um, but I think because this is not a, actually a fighting game, I really don't care. You know, usually I would be the one that's like, oh, I want to do the tactical thing and do this and do that. But because of the type of game that this is, I love that they give you an alternative um, way to uh, progress. Um, so in doing the tournament, you unlock these different areas. It depends what the tournament is um, about. And that's where you'll see the, um, the locations. Um, so I'll just do one more, but I'll do it the other way. Negotiating cost, I can negotiate. So in this game, I like to be a, um, a resource manager. You know, I'm not really, fighting is, is fine, um, but it's very expensive. It, it takes a long time to, to get your troops going. And if you pick the wrong ones, then you have to wait forever to get them retrained. Um, so I do like to have troops on hand. Definitely. I'm always training them. Um, but, uh, unless I was doing the, uh, the actual fighting and just doing auto, I'd much rather just spend the resources, which, um, leads me to the second point of this, or I don't know what point I'm on now, but a point in this game, um, that I really, really like is that it is a alliance slash fellowship type game. Now there's a lot of games like that, that you want to be an alliance because you're going to be able to help each other out. Um, you get a lot of perks depending on how the alliance does. Um, for sure, this does the exact same thing. Um, but I like that this game is all about the fellowship. Like if you're not in a fellowship, you're going to, I don't know, you're going to go so slow in this game that you might not think it's worth it. Um, now being in a fellowship will allow you to participate in that tournament that we were just looking at. Um, there's going to be other challenges. There's going to be different events and depending on how well the Alliance does or the fellowship does, um, the better the loot. So you definitely want to participate. Um, and I mean, it could feel a little pressure a little bit, I guess on the, um, on the big events to, you know, make sure that you're contributing in a certain way, but I've never been like stressed out. Like this isn't a fast paced game. Even the tournaments, like 
half the stuff is like this, like it's going to take you a while to build it anyways. So you can say, okay, I'm going to focus on this. You focus on that. I'm going to, you know, do whatever. Um, I've never really felt stressed in this game. I mean, sometimes you want to complete a whole event and you're really close to the end and you know that time's going to run out and this and that. But I, like I said, I never felt that pressure and it depends on the event. Um, like this event right here that we're doing uh, would give you these kind of prizes. Oh, this is just uh, about it. But sometimes, you know, the building that they're promoting for the event doesn't make sense with with the city that you're building so you know you don't have to complete every single event yes you're going to get a ton of goodies out of it but if but if um getting that building leveled up is it important to you then you can say you know what i'm going to take this one easy and then i'll look at the next next event and see if if that's a building that's really going to help me out um, as i was showing previously there's um, a bunch of different buildings that you can get um, and you will accumulate them and you'll start to see which ones are worth it and which ones are not. I mean, sometimes they're just visually amazing, which is really nice. Um, but you also want that to benefit you. You know, if you need culture, this one that's 230 is not going to be as good as the 440. But the 440 might take up less space than that one. So a lot of it is um, space management and knowing what you're trying to do. You know, how is this going to help you? Um, now the next point that I like about this game, and that's what I actually would, I was talking about yesterday that, uh, I haven't even brought up yet. This game is because it's not PVP, it's not pay to win. I have never seen an ad on this one or click this to speed something up and, and watch an ad or whatever. Um, now there is a thing up here. Uh, uh, let me see. Let me click it. The little diamonds, because the diamonds are the uh, the luxury um, item in the game. That's how you're going to be able to do a lot of speed ups. Which in a game like this, yes, um, of course it has to be there because um, some stuff takes forever to upgrade or whatever. Um, but I've never found it necessary, and I think that's because I'm in a fellowship and I participate in the events, I participate in the tournaments, I participate in different things, you're going to get so much loot left and right that you really don't need that. And they do have a daily gift, uh, which is usually really nice. And um, you're not getting bombarded with ads. Like there's a lot of other games that have like click on this or there's this promotion to get extra diamonds, this promotion to get extra this, extra that. There's nothing. So you're basically just playing the game when you're on here uh, like i said before you are going to want to speed things up this resource up here which the knowledge points um, recharges every hour and at the beginning of the game you're gonna be like oh my god i have nothing to do i don't have enough knowledge points to do what i need to do um, you'll see that the research tree is run on those knowledge points so you need to get those filled in this one's 60 63 82 and you might think that that's like massive and it really does feel that way at the beginning of the game until you start participating in tournaments. Until you start um, completing, oops, I clicked the wrong one. You start completing the quests. You'll have quests every day. And when you complete them, usually you're going to have like a, a nice reward. Uh, like this one's awesome. You know, you get tools and uh, granite or whatever that is. Um but it's one of the games you want to play regularly and then you'll regularly get rewarded, you know? Um, but I, I, like I said, I was, I've played like a bunch of different games and I feel like they're constantly pushing you to buy like their pack or their upgrade pack, or here's like a special boost of this kind or whatever. Like this one doesn't throw anything in your face, um, because it's not a competitive game. It makes sense that it doesn't do that. Um, I, I don't know. I think more games should be like this. I mean, even generic city builders, which aren't competitive, they still throw all kinds of ads all over the place. Uh, here's another thing. So see how I'm trying to do that, and I want to upgrade it, and I want to do it faster. 79 to finish now. You don't need to do that, because look at this thing here. Time reduction. Select a spell. Like, these spells are some of the things that you get... Um, when you're completing uh, events, when you're completing uh, tasks. And let's see what you can create here. 
So these don't speed up anything, but these give you more. Um, and then crafting, which is very important in this game in the Magic Academy. Like right now, I'm crafting a speed up. So it's funny, but the game actually lets you craft speed ups yourself. You can win them, but you can also craft them yourself in the Magic Academy. So it's almost like the game is providing you all the tools and all the little bonuses, you know, sprinkled here and there to have fun. You know, not behind any kind of paywall. Yes, there is a time wall because you do have to wait for things to go if you don't have any speed ups. But it's a city building game. You're not going in here to fight and say, oh, you know what? I got to spend money so I can fight again. No, that everything is kind of at its own pace. And um, I don't know, I just find it phenomenal that you're not watching videos constantly. You're not um, urged to pay for stuff constantly. Uh, it's a revelation. And I think some of that, because it's not PvP, I think some people don't even look at this game. Um, but I feel like it's a, it's it's really like its own thing. Um, I'm not even sure how to properly describe it. I guess it's like an empire building game. Um um, but I don't know. It's hard to to put into words and I guess make it sound appealing because everybody does want to compete and be better than the other person. But this is all about your fellowship, all about your alliance. You know, if you want to contribute, you can. If you want to contribute a ton, you can. You can trade with one another. You can have open chats here of like, hey, let's do this, let's do that. The events are fun, the tournaments are fun, and you can play your own style. You can play like battle heavy or you can play um, resource heavy, which I like having good and good resources. Resources are really going to be the thing that kind of slow you down. If you don't have enough resources, you get, you're going to need resources regardless. Um, the armies you're going to need when you do need to, you know, battle here and there and stuff like that. And they're important. But the resources are needed every single day. Every single time you need to upgrade anything, you need resources. So you could focus on your armies and, and do really well on those kind of challenges. But resources are a must. Um, you start with these uh, basic refined precious. And then as you start leveling up to the different ages, you'll start unlocking um, the settlement resources down here. And then you'll have other crafting resources. So you do need to be very good at producing. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's no ads, there's nothing in here telling you click on this and watch a video or to speed this up or anything like that. And I find that super enjoyable in this game. Just play at your own pace. If you're in a fellowship, try to participate because if you do, it actually keeps track right here on the left side of who's help, uh, who's helping who, oh, these are trades, sorry. Um, but polish your builder's heart. So anytime anybody polishes anything of yours, it actually provides a boost to it. And you can always um, help them back. And anytime you help somebody or anytime they help you and you help them back, you get rewarded for it. So participate, help, help, help. And yeah, I mean, like I said, they should make more games like this. I mean, I don't know how much they're making. They're probably not making nearly as much as their Forge of Empires counterpart, because um, that one is PvP and has different things that you would want to speed up or, um, I don't know, improve upon. Uh, so you're going to have a little bit of that sense of urgency. And this one, the only thing is moving a little quicker along the uh, the research tree, but, but why? You know, if you like the age that you're in, then take it little by little upgrade little by little and and really uh really uh, evolve so i don't know if uh if i uh made that uh clear enough or, or the message came across clearly but the game is really good stands out for a city building type game empire building type game there's definitely technologies to learn there's different things to to keep an eye on uh space management um, but the biggest thing, like I said, is the fellowship. Um, participate and you will go far. Listen or ask questions on, um, you know, how to how to be more effective, how to be more um, profitable. Um, they're going to throw so many buildings at you that you're, 
going to be like, well, these are really cool looking and these ones are going to, these are better. Where do I fit them? I don't have enough space. So space is always going to be a concern. Um, but do what you like, you know, um, there are different ways to, for layouts that are probably more effective for space requirements and things like that, but it doesn't matter. Like nothing's going to hurt you the wrong way. You just find the way that you want to play. Um, so I don't know. I just felt that the, uh, no ads and no like crazy push to do spend money and things like that is a huge plus. Um, I don't even think about it when I play the game. And that's honestly one thing I hadn't even thought of in the last few months that I've been playing this is I'm not getting bombarded by ads or being pushed be, uh, behind paywalls and different things like that. Like, yes, some of the, some of the movement progression is slow, but a lot of silly, uh, city building games are that way. Um, there's so much content too. I was looking at videos from a couple of years back and they didn't even have all these extra ages. There's so much content here. So much content. I would say each one of these um, eras here probably takes a few months maybe. And they've added more and more to it. And nobody says you have to progress. If you like where you are, everything looks great to you, you're producing well, you don't have to feel like you have to be like all the way at the end of the game i think that's the other thing is it i mean look at this there's ancient wonders of the wood elves so yeah so you might want to progress if you want to unlock some of these new things here but it's not like other games where they're like you know what if you're not near the end of the game then you're doing crappy or you don't have access to this or that like take your time enjoy the game so hopefully that made sense um, I really like the game. It's very calming. Uh, it doesn't stress me out. Constantly excited about the different events, like new buildings that are going to pop up that could be beneficial. Um, and as I upgrade my buildings, they start looking different, which is so cool. I have always loved that about City and Empire building uh, games. At 13, it looks like that, but at 14, it looks like that. At level 18, 20, whatever, they look way bigger and so much nicer. Uh, they spent a lot of time with the visuals and to me for, if you're trying to build an empire, you want it to look good and these guys know what they're doing. So check it out. Thanks.